that he's getting loose. He's gonna try and <laughs> strangle you. Wrestling a Burmese python wasn't exactly the goal of Jason Leon's most recent trip to the Everglades. He and his friends went out to ride ATVs last Saturday when they met him. Look at this. Man, we were riding and I saw something poking out on the side of the road and at first I didn't know what it was. Hunted and fished all over and seen plenty of reptiles and alligators and stuff, but I've never seen something that big. Veronica Larios, that's the petite woman wielding that sharp knife, and Blake Jordan recording the hunt helped Leon as he struggled with the reptile. You can see him holding the snake by his neck, switching hands as his arms grew tired. I, for about 10 minutes, he was wrapping around my legs, around my arms. I was switching arms, and finally, I, we finally pulled them apart, stretched them out, and took a knife and cut his head off. Leon has had snakes as pets, but has never hunted the invasive species successfully, though he's tried. I knew that it was a big snake, and I had never seen one in the wild, and I know that they don't belong there. He never imagined his catch would be record-breaking big. Leon got in contact with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation. This email congratulated him for his big hunt. The snake, at a whopping 18 feet and 8 inches, more than three times Leon's height, was bigger than the record-holding python, 17 feet 7 inches. Now these friends get bragging rights. Leon says he's most impressed with Larios. Like 90% of my guy friends would have stood back and be like, uh-uh, uh-uh, not doing it. Especially considering what the lieutenant from Venom 1 told him. Not a really smart idea at all to do it because the snake being so big told me I should have had at least four or five other males, like individuals with me because of the strength of the snake.